Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. I just thought I would take you along with me on an evening in my life after work. Today happens to be Friday, hallelujah. <laughs> It's actually about 1.30 right now. Uh, I took a couple hours of vacation this afternoon because I do need to run some errands before I go home. Right now I am at Target and I've got my pumpkin cream cold brew. But if you are new to my channel, welcome. I am a full-time working mom. I have two kids and I love to share lots of food, working mom, lifestyle content. So if that's something that interests you, I do hope that you stick around and subscribe. So I do need to run in here to Target to get some birthday gifts for my niece. Her birthday party is tomorrow. If I have time, I also want to run to Costco and maybe Home Goods. I haven't been there in quite a while. And I always like going in there and looking for um, like dishes, kitchen stuff, home decor. So we'll see how much time we have. But either way, I'll take you shopping with me. We'll go home. I think Kira's having a friend over tonight, uh, spend the night for a sleepover. Connor's got a soccer game. We're probably gonna order pizza, do some chores around the house. So come along with me. We'll see what we can get into on this Friday evening. So I'm here in the dollar spot and I have some cute like uh, pumpkin decor and stuff. I did grab a couple. And there's some really, these are cute pillows. I don't know where I would put this, but they're only five bucks. I don't know, I might have to think about that. I love these signs. It's only $3 for that. There's one that says Hocus Pocus and one that says Broom Parking, but I think I like the Hocus Pocus one better. I might get that for my front table. Target does have super duper cute pajamas if you're looking for pajamas. I kind of like this night shirt. I might get it. I'm finding a bunch of cute clothes. So I got some sweaters and a jacket and some pajamas. Here's all of the hearth and hand stuff. I don't know. It's kind of cute. I have some of it at home. I just don't, I don't have a lot of it. They have a lot of cute bathroom stuff. I really like these a lot. I don't know. I don't know what I'd do with it besides like entertaining, but I really like them. I like this mug a lot, but I need another mug. Like I need a hole in my head. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, I mentioned that I was thinking about doing a vegan challenge in October. And I don't know if I'll do it for the whole month, but maybe like two weeks or something like that. So I was looking at some of this stuff to see what I could try, see what's good. Funny story, last time we were here, Kira accidentally got the <laughs> veggie dogs, the corn dogs, and she liked them. But I think I'm gonna get this one. I might try some of these Gardein crispy tenders. I heard they were not bad. And then also they have the um, orange chicken that I think is supposed to be good too. Now honestly, if I do a vegan challenge, I'm not just gonna eat junk food, but I'm not not gonna eat vegan junk food, you know? Um, I get asked sometimes about reusable Ziploc bags and I'm not great about using them, but if you are looking for some good ones, I would say the best brand is the stasher brand it's a little bit pricier but they do hold up a lot better you can put them in the dishwasher and they don't get like that greasy film on them if you know what i mean um but another thing i want to try is like some plant-based um you know plant milk yogurt because i really do like yogurt and obviously if i do this vegan challenge i still want to be able to eat it pumpkin spice dog treats really We've gone mad. One of my very favorite things in life is post-it notes, but I like to get the variety packs because I like to, you know, mix up the colors. So I'm just gonna look and see if they have any new ones that I don't have. All right, I've spent way too long in here. It's time to check out. All right, so I'm done in Target. I was in there for way too long and I spent like $500, but uh, anyway, I am going to go into Costco now. I only have about 30 minutes that I can spend in here before I need to get back home. When I was in high school, Tommy Hilfiger was like the ultimate status symbol. I just would have killed for a jacket like this. But alas, I never had one. I'm pretty sure they're out of toilet paper here, which is frustrating since that's what I was going to get. But they do have these 24 packs of Bang for, how much are they? 
$34. That's a good deal right there. So I saw these on the app. They have these um, boneless pork loins for $4 off a package. So I asked Adam, and I think I'm gonna get one, because it's like, that'd be super cheap per pound. Okay, stop whatever you're doing right now. Go to Costco and get this queso, because it is seriously the best queso I've ever purchased in the store. I think I'm actually gonna get two because they don't expire until January. It is so freaking good. Um, how good does this look? Pull apart cheese bread with brie and mozzarella. I kind of want it, but I don't think I'm gonna get it, but it looks really good. All right, I got way too much stuff. <laughs> it's time to head home. All right, so let me just catch you guys up. It is now almost 10 o'clock and I have a massive Costco haul and a massive Target haul to share with you. But what happened was I got home probably around, I don't know, 4.45 or, or something like that. I had ordered pizza um, when I left Costco because Friday night is our pizza night. And so that was ready to get delivered when I got home so I didn't have to worry about dinner. I unloaded all the stuff from Costco, all the stuff from Target. I got Connor ready for a soccer game. We went to a soccer game from 6.30 to 7.30. And before I had, we had gone to soccer, I just went ahead and put all of the cold stuff in the fridge and all of the um, freezer stuff in the freezer because I was like, I'm not gonna have time to film this haul um, before we leave for the game. And then once we got back from the game, um, Adam's grandma actually passed away today and then we told the kids and they were very emotional. So long story short, I'm going to share with you the two hauls, the Costco haul and the Target haul in the morning. So I'll see you in a little bit. Oh, hey guys. So it's actually the following morning now. It's about 930. Uh, I've been up for a while, but I was just making breakfast and I'm now making myself some coffee and I've got all of my goodies set out here. So we're going to go through the Costco haul first and then we're going to do the Target haul. So grab a cup of coffee or a drink or whatever you got because it's gonna be a long one all right so here's everything that i got from costco this was actually around 400 dollars, which i thought was really good i had my rewards check uh from last year which was a little over a hundred so this was actually a little less than um 300 for me which was extra good uh, but we'll start down here with the non-food items so i did pick up some paper plates these were not on sale, but I do get them at Costco every time I go there because um, it's a really good deal, better than you can get in the regular grocery stores. And then Kira actually forgot her face mask one day um, when she was at school and they gave her a paper one and she said that she liked it better. And so they had these at Costco. They're 50 in a pack. I think this was $14.99 if I remember correctly. And so I figured I would just pick some of these up to have them on hand if the kids wanna wear these instead of the cloth masks. Um, when they're at school, then that's fine, whatever. Uh, I also grabbed some paper towels. I normally get the Bounty paper towels when I go to Costco, but they did not have them. They were actually all out of toilet paper, which I believe I mentioned before, which was kind of a bummer because I wanted to get a big pack of Charmin there. But anyway, I did pick up the uh, Kirkland uh, package of paper towels, so those will last us a while. We're not out of these yet, but I do really like the Costco brand of kitchen trash bags, and so I get these... Um, when we go there and we're running low, I think we have a little less than half of a pack now um, under the kitchen sink, but definitely don't want to run out of trash bags, so I grabbed those. I almost ran out of finish and <laughs> dishwashing detergent, so I did pick up another pack of these. I always like to get the finish. Um, it comes with 125 tabs, so it does last a while, although... I would say I run my dishwasher at least once a day on the weekends. Sometimes I run it two to three times a day, depending on what I'm doing, if I'm meal prepping or filming recipes and stuff like that. So um, this probably lasts at least at least two months, a little over two months, I would say. And then I also got the Finish uh, Jet Dry. I like to put this in my dishwasher. You guys have probably heard me talk before. I have a Bosch dishwasher and it cleans dishes really, really well, better than any dishwasher I've ever had, but it doesn't always dry the best. And so this does help um, a little bit with the drying part. I also got Connor another pair of sweatpants. Um, they have these Adidas sweatpants there 
for, uh, I think they're $16.99. So that's not a bad price. So I went ahead and picked up a pair for him. He does have a black pair, so I went ahead and got a navy pair. My coffee's ready, which, by the way, if you guys have not tried the Starbucks uh, pumpkin spice K-Cups, I am like surprisingly loving them. Not surprisingly, because I like pumpkin spice, but I guess I just didn't realize how much <laughs> how much I would like them, so cheers. Happy pumpkin spice. It's actually very chilly here right now. Well, not very chilly, but it's like in the low 40s it was last night, so fall is coming. Fall is coming. Okay, so also got some Capri Sun. We were down to one uh, box of this from the last time I got it. So I, they had several different kinds there. Of course, they have like the organic, honest kids kind, which my kids don't really like that kind. And then they had the Kool-Aid jammers, which have more sugar in them. Um, so I went ahead and got these, which is the um, 40 pouches of Capri Sun. It comes with fruit punch, berry, and apple. Uh, new to me at Costco is the 24 pack of Bang, which I got for Adam. So it comes with four flavors, peach mango, star blast, cotton candy, and rainbow unicorn. So if you're a fan of Bang and you have a Costco, make sure that you look for that. This was uh, 24 cans for around $33, which is an insane deal because I can't find them for less than $2 a can in the regular grocery store. So I almost thought about getting two cases, but <laughs> I didn't want to deal with hauling all of this stuff in as it was. So anyway, I just got one. Um, I also picked up a package of the King's Hawaiian rolls. Um, these are really good for packing kids lunches. Just put some you know, turkey and cheese on there. Um, we're also, I think, maybe gonna make sliders on the flat top grill this weekend. And those are always good to have with these as buns. So um, this is a large pack. You get two packs of 16 rolls, but you know, if, you, if you're not aware, bread does freeze really well, um, including rolls, tortillas, anything like that. So I never worry about getting stuff like this because whatever we're not gonna eat right away, I just put it in the freezer. Uh, okay, so my beloved <laughs> Idaho Spuds. So I had actually forgotten about these for a while. I'm not sure why, but I do like picking them up at Costco because they are a great deal. And if you're not familiar with these type of hash browns, you basically open the carton and you pour in like really hot or boiling water. You let them reconstitute and then you can crisp them up in a pan and they turn out much crispier than the frozen hash browns. So definitely try them out. You can find them in the regular grocery store too. But um, I wanna say this eight pack is like around eight or $9 at Costco. So a good deal there. Um, I also got a double pack of the brownberry oat nut bread. This one will go in the freezer. I actually, this was a twin pack, but I had to use, put, crack into one for breakfast today because we were out of bread. Um, but I like this kind. The kids are not crazy about the whole grain bread, but they'll eat it. Um, and this is the kind Adam really likes too. So I went ahead and grabbed that. Uh, okay, I told you guys I was getting two of the queso mama, white queso with green chilies. I cannot stop talking about this because if you have never had it, it is delicious. It tastes exactly like a restaurant, you know, queso would. Um, so it, you know, keeps in the fridge. All I do is I scoop it out into a, like a glass bowl, warm it up in the microwave and boom, we've got queso. So like I said, this doesn't expire until January. So I'll go ahead and, you know, stash these in the fridge and we'll eat them at some point, but really delicious. Now I'm afraid that my Costco is going to not carry it anymore because I like it so much because, you know, that's what happens. <laughs> Okay, so we do also really like the Kirkland uh, medium salsa. So I went ahead and pack, picked up a twin pack of this. We have been getting the salsa from Thrive Market, uh, but salsa is one of those things I never want to run out of. And so I did go ahead and pick up a twin pack of this. I also grabbed some Rayo's uh, Italian marinara. This is really great. And I forget exactly the price of this at Costco. I wanna say it's around 10 or $11, which is a really great deal. Um, so I went ahead and grabbed a twin pack of that for the pantry. And then Adam has been really liking to have bagels with cream cheese, and then he puts a little bit of crispy onions on top of it. He also likes the crispy jalapenos, but 
he'll use either and I couldn't find crispy jalapenos at, at Costco so I did go ahead and grab the large bag of those obviously also we can use these for um, Thanksgiving for green bean casserole if it lasts that long I picked up a box of the Frito-Lay uh, classic mix chips uh, we were all out of these we still have some goldfish left from last time we we're at Costco but no chips so I got some of the Lay's uh, classic, or I'm sorry, what's in here is the Lay's Classic Sour Cream and Onion Barbecue. They have regular Cheetos, Doritos, Cool Ranch Doritos, and Fritos, which it's fall time now, and we're going to be making some chili, and you know what you need on your chili is some Fritos and cheese. <laughs> I love Fritos on my chili. Uh, okay, so I saw this randomly in one of the aisles. Um, it was sort of hidden, um, but I saw it, and it said it's plant-based street taco ground veggie meatless mix. So I thought I would try this. Um, I told you guys in the store at Target, and I talked about it on my Instagram, that I'm thinking about doing a vegan challenge in October. Um, so I'm trying to pick up some different things that I could uh, try out and see what I like for that time. So... This basically replaces four pounds of ground meat, and on the back it tells you how to cook it. You basically reconstitute it um, with water, and then you saute it in a pan with green pepper and onion and serve it on tortillas. So I thought that sounded good. You guys will have to let me know if you've tried this before. It's Urban Accents, your culinary wingman. I don't know that I've ever seen that brand before around here, but grab that. I packed up a twin pack of watermelons these are just the mini um, seedless watermelons connor asked for watermelon the other day and so i thought i would pick just up some mini ones if i get like a whole large watermelon sometimes it goes bad before we can eat it all so these are perfect um, i also got the boneless pork loin um, i talked about this these were four dollars off a package so this whole pork loin which is eight and a half pounds was only like nine nine what would it be nine fifty three um, so that's a great deal there. So I went ahead and picked that up. I'm not quite sure what we're going to do with this yet. Um, Adam said we can put it on the smoker or I can also cut it into pork chops or pork roast. So I'll have to decide this weekend what I want to do with that. I also grabbed one of the, uh, avocado ranch chopped salad kits. I don't know that I've had this one before. I can't remember. Um, but it has cabbage in it, romaine lettuce, kale, uh, avocado, carrot, corn, flax, chips, smoked white cheddar, and crispy dried corn, which sounds delicious. So I went ahead and grabbed that. Uh, I've never had this before either. This actually came in the refrigerated section. It is the teriyaki stir fry udon noodles with mixed vegetable topping. I thought that sounded really good, and I'm always in the new in the mood for <laughs> for noodles. So uh, I thought we would try that out. Um, I also picked up some of these veggie chicken nuggets. These are plant-based chicken nuggets. Uh, my kids will likely eat them with uh, no knowledge of whether they are plant or chicken. <laughs> so I went ahead and grabbed these. These were in the refrigerated section, but you can freeze them, which is probably uh, what I will end up doing. Uh, let's see. I also picked up some orange chicken. It's been a while since I've grabbed this and I did open the box just to make room in my freezer, but um, this comes with two big bags of orange chicken. We usually like to cook this in the air fryer. Then you put the sauce on it, serve it with some rice. I usually steam up some broccoli and boom, got dinner. So um, that's always a quick one that is well received. And then they also had these 24 packs of the Ice Mountain Sparkling Water. You get raspberry lime, black cherry, and lemon lime. This was $3.99 for a 24 pack, which I thought was an insane deal. Um, and I almost should have got more, but whatever. <laughs> so I grabbed that. I got some more uh, extra virgin olive oil. I love buying my olive oil at Costco. And then I have a um, like a ceramic dispenser that I keep by my stove, but it is the most cost effective there, definitely. So I picked these up for Adam. As you guys know, I'm not a huge fan of mushrooms, but they had these dried shiitake mushrooms, crispy, crunchy, and seasoned. Let me show you what they look like. So here's what they look like inside the bag. Definitely look like mushrooms. Uh, we did try them last night. I'm not really sure. Um, to me, it didn't really taste like a mushroom because it didn't have that spongy, you know, texture, which is typically what I don't like. <laughs> 
about mushrooms, but um, Adam said they were okay. I don't know that we'll end up eating the whole bag, um, but they are fun to try. They are very, very, very crunchy. Um, very crunchy. So I don't know. If you guys have tried these, let me know your thoughts on those. I also picked up some of the Better Than Bouillon vegetable base. I could not remember what flavor I had of this in the refrigerator and I actually had vegetable <laughs> in the refrigerator. So I guess now I have another one. I probably should have gotten the chicken or beef, but whatever. Um, this is pretty good and it lasts a long time. It's very strong, so don't overuse it. Um, but definitely a good option for uh, stock and broth if you want to keep that on hand rather than, you know, cans or boxes of it. Um, so someone tried these and I can't remember whose haul I was watching on YouTube. Um, but these are the Heavenly Hunks. They are organic oatmeal dark chocolate. They say gluten-free cookies. Um, and so they're gluten-free, vegan, and organic, if that kind of thing is important to you. Uh, but I thought we would try these. They sound good. It says that they should be refrigerated after you open them. So I don't know. I'll have to let you guys know in a later video how we like those. Uh, moving on down here, I did get some oven roasted turkey breast for uh, lunch meat for the next couple weeks. I always try to pick it up when I go to Costco because it's such a great deal. Um, it comes out to $6.69 a pound, and we definitely fly through this for lunches. I also like to pick up bacon when I go to Costco, so I went ahead and got the four-pack of the signature uh, Kirkland bacon. I grabbed a two-pound box, or yeah, container, I guess, of strawberries. We're trying to eat, eat through those, uh, pick them up every week until they are unfortunately out of season here probably soon. I also got some of this Good Foods organic avocado mash. I typically like to keep this on hand rather than avocados because I just never know when I'm going to eat <laughs> avocado. And this stays uh, obviously good much longer. This doesn't expire until November. And this is just the plain kind with sea salt and black pepper. So you can definitely use this on avocado toast or anything else that you want to. So. Um, I went ahead and grabbed that. I also got some of the Bibigo steamed dumplings. These are delicious if you've never tried them and they come in a microwavable tray. So super convenient. Um, Kira actually really likes these when I pack them in her lunch. So you can just throw the tray in the microwave, steam it up, and then I put them in a food jar for her or you can obviously do them and eat them at home that way. They're really, really good. I would definitely recommend these. Um, and then you guys kept telling me to get the blackened chicken strips at uh, Costco, but my Costco doesn't have them. However, they do have the black pepper herb um, seasoned chicken breast strips. So these are a little bit comparable to the blackened ones, although I assume they're not as spicy. I've never had these before, but I like the other flavors, and so I figured we would give these a try. And then I also grabbed Adam some of the uh, Kirkland sparkling ice drink. This is basically comparable to uh, the sparkling ice. It comes with black raspberry, orange mango, and kiwi strawberry, 24 bottles. So I grabbed that for him. So I believe that is everything that I got at Costco. I'm going to go ahead and get some of this stuff put away and then I'll share with you my Target haul. So part de is Target haul. I have some of the stuff over here and then I'm also going to do some of it over on the dining room table, but we're, we'll start over here on this side with all of the food. So I did pick up some uh, plant-based options to try out. I got the Daya, is that how you say it? Is it Daya or Daya? I think it's Daya. Uh, Dairy-free mozzarella shreds. They had two different kinds of um, plant-based cheese at Target. They had this and the So Delicious brand I think it was so I decided to try this they're both the same price um, if you guys have never tried this Tillamook shredded cheese it is so good you can see that it's like in really big shreds um, I can't find this in the town where I live but they do have it at Target which is not um, in my town but every time I go there I get some of that because it's delicious uh, I also got the uh, Daya pizza this is the meatless pepperoni style so I thought I would try that and then these were buy one get one free, the Tillamook cheese board snacks. So I got one of each. There's a sharp berry crunch. This has um, white cheddar cheese, Marionberry spread, and rosemary crackers. So 
you can see it's just like a little snack dealio. This one has smoked cheddar, apple spread, and olive oil crackers. This one has white cheddar cheese, strawberry, and rosemary crackers. That's kind of the one that I want to try. Actually, I won't eat all of them, but... <laughs> And then this one is pepper jack cheese, marionberry, and multigrain crackers. So let me know if you guys have seen these in your grocery store. I never have before, so they must be fairly new either that or I'm late to the game. Um, I got some plant-based milk, so I did get a milk yogurt. So I got a silk uh, apple cinnamon. These are kind of like the Chobani flips. Um, so I grabbed that. I got some Chobani oat yogurt and the strawberry vanilla. I also decided to try the coconut dairy alternative wee yogurt in the mango flavor and then the key lime so delicious coconut milk yogurt. So I got a few different ones to try. Let me know if you guys eat plant-based yogurt, what your favorite kind is. I also got some of the Gardein crispy tenders. I thought I would try these. These are uh, vegan and um, dairy. Well, obviously if they're vegan, they're dairy free, but <laughs> duh, what am I saying? So I would try those. It said they are breaded with wholesome grains, including oats, quinoa, and millet. So that's interesting. I got two of these sweet earth um, meals. So this one is a Aloha barbecue quesadilla it has uh, barbecue like plant-based meat with pineapple jalapenos and pinto beans that sounds delicious and then this one is a vegan cauliflower cream sauce <laughs> with sweet potatoes and pasta um, I also picked some up, picked up some of the impossible uh, meat this is the plant-based ground meat I actually thought I might try to make a chili with that and then I got some <laughs> Adam's giving me the stink eye. <laughs> I got some uh, half and half, just regular half and half because we were out of that. That's another thing if I do this vegan challenge. Um, I've done dairy-free half and half before. Like, I can't remember the brand of it. I'll have to go to Hy-Vee and look. But I do obviously prefer regular dairy half and half. But if I'm doing this, I'll have to switch to another kind. Uh, okay, so they had several flavors of these. The Daya Key Lime Cheesecake. So uh, I love cheesecake, and that sounds delicious. But I thought I would try this. And then I also grabbed this Amy's. This is new. It says it's Indian-inspired vegetable pakoras made with organic basmati rice and a savory yogurt curry sauce. This is not vegan, obviously, because of the um, dairy yogurt in there, but I thought it looked delicious. And I always love the Amy's meals. Uh, okay, so my friend Siobhan from the UK said that you guys don't have candy corn over there. And so I said, well, I'll send you some, um, but you can take one bite of it and throw the rest of the bag in the trash. <laughs> uh, are you team candy corn or no? I actually, I don't hate it, but like I can eat like a few pieces and then like, okay, I'm good till next year. But candy corn isn't one of those things that I'm going to sit there and just eat. I do like, however, when you mix the candy corn with the dry roasted peanuts, that is good because you get kind of like a sweet and salty thing. But anyway, I'll hold that back and send it to her next time we do a box exchange. Uh, I got this for me. I love peanut butter M&Ms. They are my favorite. So I just got a small bag of those. I got some more of the Smart Sweets for Adam. He really likes these. The peach rings, these are the sugar-free ones, and uh, they have quite a few varieties at, at Target, so I thought that was neat to find those there again. And then I actually have been liking oatmeal in the mornings. Um, I haven't always been like a huge oatmeal lover. A lot of times I like savory breakfast, but I went ahead and got one of the brown sugar and maple and one of the apple and cinnamon uh, Bob's Red Mill oatmeal cups and then frankenberry which takes me back to my childhood uh we didn't often get a lot of brand name cereal when i was a kid but i do remember having this and i really liked the frankenberry i did not like the count chocula or the booberry but i did like the frankenberry so i thought that would be fun for the, the kids to try oh here we go okay so getting into some of the decor this sign is so cute i'm just in love with it uh three bucks so go get yourself one of these if you haven't been to Target lately. It says Hocus Pocus. I think that's so cute. I also got the pumpkin pillow, which I didn't realize was actually a dual-sided pillow. So you can either have the apple orchard side or the 
pumpkin patch side. So I think I actually might put that over there in the bottom shelf of my uh, bookcase. I think that'll be cute there. I grabbed some paper plates because I did not know that I was gonna get paper plates at Costco and I thought these were a cute pattern so I grabbed those from Target. Some of my beloved uh, sticky notes. I do like the kind with the lines on them for making lists, that's great. They had these uh, fall fillers at Target, which you guys saw, so I went ahead and got two bags of these. I might mix these up in a vase on my front table. Uh, $3 each, so one bag of apples and one bag of gourds and pine cones. This was so cute, and this can go for any season, really. It, they are like wood risers. Um, so there's two different sizes in there. You can see there's a smaller size and a larger size, so you can use them individually or stack them up together but I thought those would be really uh, cute. And then I got a few more pumpkins. Uh, this one was $3, and then this one was also $3. This one's like a little bit more ceramic, and as you can see, it actually fell out of my cart in the parking lot and cracked, but I'm still gonna use it because it looks fine. <laughs> and then I grabbed some dishes from the Hearth and Home line. So I uh, my last ceramic spoon rest that I had broke, and I have a plastic one right now, but it's just not my favorite. So I went ahead and grabbed this. It just is one of the um, stoneware spoon rests. And then I got these dishes, which I thought would be cute for um, food photos. This black plate, I think, is really neat. And I always think food looks really neat on black. So I got that. And then this, I accidentally chipped. Whoops. She actually, <laughs> when... Um, the girl that was bagging my stuff, she kind of put it in with some clothes and I didn't realize it was in there. And when I sat it down on the counter like that, I chipped it. So anyway, um, it's fine. I'll, I'll figure it out. Okay, so those are the dishes I got. And then I did get some clothes for myself and Connor and Kira. And then obviously I got a bunch for my niece, which I'll share with you. But um, I was looking for kind of like a light, sort of like jacket slash raincoat. And I have one from Target, not Target, Costco that I got a few years ago. It's a gray one. And it it's okay, but it's not very roomy. Like it's very tight in my chest and I don't like zipping it up. <laughs> and I kind of want something that I could zip up in case it's like cold or rainy. So I got this. This is the Ava and Vive line from Target, which is their plus size line. Um, I got a 1X in this. I tried on both the 1X and the 2X and the 2X was too big. The 1X fit um, just fine. This was, if I can tell you the price, uh, $35. So I didn't think that was too bad, but it is a longer coat. So kind of, you know, covers your bottom, zips up. So I thought that was um, a pretty great deal. I also picked up this uh, nightgown. This is the Stars Above line from Target, which is kind of like their pajama line. Um, I did get the XXL in this and it was $19.99. I should also mention that I had on my Target app a 15% off coupon. So I ended up saying, saving with my Target red card and that coupon, I ended up saving like almost $150 on this whole total, which was insane. So um, look for that on your Target app. Uh, but anyway, I like long sleeve nightgowns for winter and I thought that was a cute pattern. I also grabbed these pajama pants, which feel super soft and hopefully they're long enough. I, um, just to give you like a, idea of what size I am. I'm 5'8", and typically I wear like an 1820 in pants and a 1X in shirts. Um, so I did get the XXL in these, but sometimes pajama pants are too short for me. Uh, but they are super soft and they seem like they'll be comfy, so hopefully those fit and work out. They have their dressing rooms closed at Target, so you can't try anything on. Um, I also got this just kind of mustard colored top um, for work to go like under a cardigan. I really am loving this color uh, for clothes for this fall. I got a uh, sweater on Amazon that was this color too. Um, and I got this in a 1X and this is $16.99, so not bad for that. I grabbed a couple sweaters and I went with the 2X in these because they seemed like they were shorter. And that's a lot of the problem I have with clothes sometimes is 
that I'm taller and I have I'm bigger in the chest and so sometimes shirts end up being too short on me which is very frustrating um, but these sweaters were $20 each they had three different colors they had like a red a royal blue and then this khaki color which I thought this color was really great for fall so I grabbed two of these um, I they are these will fit me looser um, but they do have kind of like the split um, sort of hem on the side so I I thought that actually these would be cute with leggings too so my plan is that I can either wear them with like leggings for a cute fall outfit or wear them with dress slacks for work so grab those and then I also got Connor this t-shirt they have a lot of cool graphic tees at Target which you probably know and I got this one in the NASA it's very like worn and soft so that's it for here on the island. Let me share with you the rest of the stuff I got, which is mostly um, gifts for my niece. I got her a ton of cute clothes. All right, so I grabbed a few things for Kira, a um, couple clothing items. I got her this uh, Iowa Hawkeye shirt. It's just a regular V-neck sweatshirt. Um, she usually wears a small in women's, but this one looked a little bit short, so I went ahead and got the medium and figured I could throw it in the dryer. And then I also got her this pajama set. I got this in a small, this is the Stars Above brand. I have several of these sets actually. They're very soft and I would recommend them. Um, this one is a long sleeve pant and shirt combo. And then I got this <laughs> for my desk upstairs. It's kind of like a, you know, fi a filer, I guess you could say, but I like that it was very like neutral and clear. And I thought I could use this to organize some of my papers on my desk, maybe like receipts or I don't know, paperwork, scrapbooking supplies. I haven't quite decided yet, but this was $9.99. So I grabbed that for myself. And then uh, Kira got a new desk and she needed a, uh, a new light. And so I got her this one. It actually has a USB plug-in, which I think is kind of cool. And then it has like a pencil cup holder and some things right there. So I thought that would be uh, very functional for her to have on top of her desk. I got another water bottle. We're always needing reusable water bottles. And I thought this one was super cute with the rainbows on it. Um, okay, so for my niece, Adeline. Adeline, if you're watching, you've probably already opened all this stuff already. But happy birthday. Um, she's turning seven this year. So I got her these cute little booties. Uh, these are the Cat and Jack brand. My sister said that she wears a one and a half. So I went ahead and got the two just so she could grow into them and they wouldn't be too small. But I thought these were super cute. They had several different colors, but these were the ones that I thought looked the cutest. Um, and then I grabbed her a bunch of different outfits. So I love the Cat and Jack like leggings and shirts for little girls. I remember when Kira was this age and I could just go and buy her a bunch of clothes and it was so easy and now it's not but whatever <laughs> I thought this was cute for fall this like mustard colored top with the flowers on it and then I got her some jeggings to go with that outfit um, my sister said she also likes long sleeve nightgowns to sleep in so I got two of those uh, this one has a unicorn on it and then this one is just like a plain blue color and it says dream um, I also got her this dress to wear with some leggings. Um, I thought she could wear this with, where's the leggings that I got? Oh, I got the kind of like sage colored leggings to go with this. And I thought that would be cute with the little pink booties. So that's another outfit. And then I got her this uh, Girls Run the World t-shirt to go with these uh, rainbow leggings. I thought those were super cute. And then this unicorn uh, sweatshirt which is really soft to go with these black heart leggings uh, i really thought this was neat this sweater it's very soft it's got a rainbow on the front and then i just got some plain black leggings to go with that and then lastly this is more of kind of like an athletic outfit uh, these athletic leggings and they have like some detailing on the back here and then this is like a thin hooded sweatshirt probably need to wear like an undershirt under this or something but this is nice to wear like right now our weather is like not quite summer not quite fall so you don't quite need like a super heavy sweatshirt but um, this will be 
nice for this time of year. And then I also got her a couple masks. They have the kids' masks at Target. And these are matchy-matchy uh, with some of her clothes. So I thought that would be fun. And then my sister also said she likes um, like the beginning chapter books. So I got her some of the Junie B. Jones. I just got three different ones of those. I got her a 100-piece puzzle. And then I got her um, a water bottle if she wants to take that to school. I thought this one was cute with the rainbows on it. And then I actually ordered this from Imperfect Foods. Um, but I ordered two. I ordered one for Kira and one for Alex. Uh, but this is a snack container by Swell and it says it's a snack container but it's rather large so if your kids are going back to school and they want to take a hot lunch like soup or pasta or something this is fabulous you can actually get these on Amazon so I'll link several down below if you're interested but I didn't even know these existed until I saw them on the Imperfect Foods website and I was like oh I'm gonna grab a couple of those so anyway I got that for her so that is everything that I got from Target. Holy cow, we're done. <laughs> All right, so thank you guys so much for sitting through this massive haul with me. Oh, I forgot to tell you, this shirt actually, I got this at Target too, and I don't know how well you can see it, but it's just like kind of one of those like loosey athletic type tops, and then in the back it has like a opening right there. I don't know how well you can see that, but um, I like shirts like this because I get hot and stuff when I'm cleaning the house and even when it's winter time I want maybe something that's like long sleeve but it's not gonna like make me super hot so I bought this one in the store it's like a dark gray blackish color um, they had several other colors but I didn't buy them just because I didn't know if I would like it or not but I did go online and order another one it's like a dark mauve color uh, but I'll link this top down below I would really recommend it I got the XXL and I was afraid it was gonna be too tight but um, it's perfect so yay anyway that is gonna be it for this video I'm sorry that it was fragmented in between two days but that's just what happens when <laughs> we have busy busy life around here so anyways thank you guys for coming along with me on this evening slash morning after work and for sitting through my massive haul with me and i'll see you in my next video bye